can I afford to buy an existing practice? And the question I always ask back to them is, really, can you afford not to? And the, what, what you'll find when you're looking at buying practice acquisitions is that you should net as much after paying the debt back on 100% of the acquisition as you would as an associate with the potential for increase of income with growth in the practice. And once that debt is paid off, now there's significant income that's going to be available to the doctor. So I would submit that you afford, you can't afford not to buy a practice and be an associate for your career. The, um, the alternative is starting from scratch and, and what you have to remember there is you have to spend all the money on equipment and uh, then go and hire the staff and then open up the doors and then hope and pray that they come. And uh, I've talked to two dentists recently that did that and they did that back in the 60s and they said that they actually lived in the practice uh, upstairs uh, just because they didn't know how long it was going to take. And it took several years before they were able to move out of the upstairs uh, and purchase a home. So. The, the alternative uh, is to purchase an existing practice and at least you know what you're getting and from day one you walk in, open up the doors and you've got cash flow and you've got patients. As to whether you, uh, young dentists can afford to buy uh, an existing practice, most young dentists today uh, graduate dental school with somewhere between 200 to 300, even to 400,000 in student debt. And the dirty little secret of it is, is the only way they're, they're probably going to be able to pay off that debt is to buy practice. They will never make, a, hardly ever make as much money as an associate as owning their own practice.